Hello everyone, my name is Tanya from Just Scrap and Stamp and today I'm going to demonstrate a couple of easy techniques using opal embossing powders. The colour I'm using today is called the Nut and it's a nice rich brown colour. And to start off I'm going to be using a metal brad. Um, it's a colour that I've used a few times but I've got a few left and I want to make it a different colour. So to do that is very simple. You need to use your tweezers for this because as you can imagine we're going to use a heat gun and the metal on the brad will get quite hot. So to start with we'll get some of our powder and sprinkle into our powder tray. And um, with embossing powders usually you would use an embossing pad like Versamark but because this is metal we can actually heat the metal up and just dip it in the powder and the powder will stick to the hot metal. So we'll just sit this to the side so I don't blow it everywhere. And just heat up the bread. And once it's hot enough you can just dip it into the powder. You can see there we've got a little coat of powder onto the bread and continue to heat it up until the powder melts. Hope you can see that. Just see that it's starting to melt now. And while it's still hot we can just dip it back in and get some more powder. And just do it until as many times you need to until you get a good coverage of the powder melted onto the bread. Two to three coats is usually enough. Just on the last coat make sure you get all the edges of the bread so that there's none of the yellow showing. I usually like to just turn it over and make sure there's no loose powder on the back as well. So I'll just sit that aside to dry. Once it's cooled down, I might need a little bit more on the edges. Just sit that there. <coughs> Now while that's drying, another embellishment that you can use to transform with your opals is a paper flower. In this case you do need to use Versamark. I like to keep one separate Versamark pad for my embossing because they do tend to get some of the powder on there and keep a good one for stamping. So press your flower into the stamp pad and get a good coverage of the ink on there. get my tweezers off the bread. <coughs> and while it's cold you can just dip it in your powder and get a good coating on there. And just tap off any excess. And once again heat your powder. Until it melts. And while it's still hot and molten, we can dip it back in our opals and repeat until we get a good coverage. Now if you get a spot on the flower that just doesn't seem to have enough opals on it, you can just use a little sprinkle onto the edge. Now while it's still hot, just drag it sideways to get rid of any loose powder that may be there. Now that our brad has set, you can see there that it's 
changed it to a nice metallic brown. Um, there is another technique you can use with this as well and that's to put a stamped impression into the surface of the brad. And to do that you can use a rubber stamp or an acrylic one. I like to put a bit of ink on mine so that I can see the design a bit better. These are just autumn leaves clear flourishes. And you simply just heat up your brad again till the opals has gone molten. You can do this at the time before you let the opals set the first time. Once you can see that they're molten, you can push the stamp into the brad and just let it there and give it time for the opals to set again. And as you can see it just lifts off easily. Oh, usually does. Off of the stamp. And then you've got a stamped impression on your brad with the black ink highlighting the detail. If something happened and you didn't like that impression you can just reheat the opals again and they will actually melt and level themselves out onto the brad but if you've used ink you will still have the black ink pattern on your brad And you can see there that the opals have all leveled out again to smooth. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something about using opals embossing enamel.